today we are going to make up some creamy cheesy mashed potatoes in the ninja foodie that we're going to be using in what an upcoming meal in a mylar bag so what we have here is I've got about two and a half pounds of yellow potatoes we got some chicken broth some cream cheese some butter powder and some sour cream and we'll add milk later as we need it to get this smooth as we want it and some black pepper so it's real easy I am going to take these potatoes over to the sink we're gonna scrub them and then I'll dice them up and I'll be right back okay there's my taters let's get my foodie out take this out all we're going to do is add these in there. We're going to put one cup of chicken broth. You're going to put a quarter of a cup of butter powder. And one eight ounce package of cream cheese. I'm not going to put any salt in there yet because of the broth that I used and we'll season that to taste once we're done. So, that was pretty simple. I'm excited to use my new Ninja Foodie with the same lid so I don't have to change lids. Make sure I got the vent shut. Turn the power on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on pressure delayed release pressure we're going high for 13 minutes then we're going to press the pressure release button and then we're going to go for five minutes what that does is it'll heat, cook this for 10 minutes under pressure and then it'll start cooling down and then after uh, five minutes of pressure release it will automatically release the pressure for me I'll just double check that that's on five yes it is all right so I really love this new one I'm still learning a lot about it I press start oops start and that's gonna build up pressure pressure once it's build up pressure it'll cook it for 13 minutes and then it will natural release for five minutes and then it will automatically release the pressure I don't have to do anything so we'll see you as it goes along okay that is built up pressure now it has started counting down from 13 when it gets to zero it will start counting up to five for the natural release and then it will automatically open my vent valve to release it manually or quickly <laughs> the quick release yeah that's it that's what it's called so while this is cooking just wanted to let you know about this new ninja foodie it's very pricey I'm not gonna lie about that but I bought it because my other one started acting up on me wouldn't build up pressure and uh, plus I like the idea that this one has the smart lid which is a one lid system and depending on where you put this lever right here you can pressure cook all the way to air fry oven bake sous vide it just got a lot of options to it but I like the fact that it's only got one lid where my other one I had to swap out lids for pressure cooking and doing the other things so it's really a nice machine 
Like I said, I'm still learning all the functions on it. But uh, I'm enjoying it, using it, and this is probably, I think, this might be the first video that you see of me actually using the foodie. But mashed potatoes is a nice, easy one to do. So, that saying any more, we'll let that cook for another 11 minutes and 20 seconds. And I'll see you when it's uh, doing its uh, natural release. See you in a minute. Okay, it's in the last 10 seconds of the uh, cooking under pressure. And here we go. It has finished doing that. And now it's scrolling delayed release. And it's going to do that for 5 minutes. And then it's going to automatically release the pressure for me. So, that's really cool. And while I was, I'm all I'm at it while we're waiting for that five minutes. This one actually has a thermometer that's stuck in a compartment over here that uh, you can stick in your food too and cook with that too. I mean, it's really a neat product. I haven't tried that yet, but uh, it'll be coming up sometime. I'm soon. I'm sure. So, I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, so you heard that, it gives you a warning beep to let you know that it's getting ready to release the uh, pressure, and then it releases the pressure. Okay, tells me then I can open the lid. So we slide that up from the lock position, and open it up, and there you have it. Let me reposition my camera so you can see what we got. All right. Now I'm just going to mash these up a little bit. Get all that cheese incorporated. I'm going to put half of this cup in there for now and see if that's enough of my sour cream. I'm going to take my handy dandy immersion blender and kind of whip those up a little bit. bit more pepper in there those are perfect all right let me get this all cleaned up and moved around and we'll position right and we'll try these up and see how much weight we got Okay, so we got one tray, that's two pounds. I'm going to use my dividers set up with five dividers. That'll give me ten small portions or five large portions. And I still got some left over. Let me put this off to the side and let it cool. I ended up with one and a 1.42 pounds on here, which is great. That will give me something to uh, taste test without digging into my meals that I want to do. So, those will be going into the uh, freezer once they cool down and get them frozen solid and in the freeze dryer. So, what do you think? About what? 20 minutes from cut dicing the potatoes to dishing them out 20 minutes in the ninja foodie pressure cooker that would have took me twice as long if not more 
to cook those up boil those water those up in a pot of hot water and smash them that way so what a great invention the ninja foodie or yeah the ninja foodie pressure cooker is so next time you see these they'll be coming out of the freeze dryer I'll see you then okay there we have it two trays of creamy potatoes because I doubled that up and we also got a tray of my mixed vegetables which is carrots peas and onions and a tray of stovetop stuffing so let me get this all packaged up and then we'll do a taste test on the potatoes I'll see you in a minute okay we got those all packaged and put away I ended up with uh, six packs of the three of those squares so I like a lot of mashed potatoes and then I ended up with two odd ones so that's the ones we're gonna taste test the two squares and all I did was just kinda crumbled them up inside the bag so they fit nicely And I put a 300 cc O2 absorber in there. So that's what they look like inside the bag. Now I got some hot water here. One cup. And I'm going to put about a half a cup in there for now and see what that comes out like. Well, they smell like nice potatoes. Let me seal that shut. I'm going to just let that sit for about three minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's been about two minutes. There's really mashed potatoes. I could have probably just stirred those up, and they'd have been ready right away. I'll let it sit for two minutes. Give this one more stir. Oh yeah, those are looking good. That's what it looks like in the pouch. Steaming hot. Let's dish it up so you can see what it looks like. Check those out. Smell of vision, where are you? Mm. Mm -hmm. Check those taters out. Steaming, piping hot. Let's see what they look like, taste like. So creamy. Mm -mm. Definitely taste the cheese in it. Not so much the sour cream, but then again, I didn't put a lot of sour cream in. Mm. Those are absolutely gorgeous very easy to make in the crock uh, not in the crock pot in the ninja foodie pressure cooked freeze dried and reconstituted mm -mm -mm. those are so good if I drizzle some gravy on that it'd be even better but they taste great without. You can kind of taste that, that butter powder in, that I put in there as well. So there you have it. 
a nice easy one creamy cheesy mashed potatoes freeze-dried and reconstituted I hope you enjoyed that one and I look forward to seeing you next time <music>